Hello you guys and welcome back. It is the last video of 2020 on my YouTube channel. Woo! And that calls for a little year in review. So I don't know about you, but I am so ready to close the door on 2020. It has been a year. However, for my YouTube channel, this has been the busiest year ever because I've had a lot of spare time this year and I put all that spare time into my YouTube channel. So back in November of 2019 is when my channel became monetized. For those of you who are not familiar with what that means, um, on YouTube, they have certain stipulations on how channels become monetized, which means that there can be ads placed on your videos from Google AdSense and then you can earn money from if they run ads on your videos. So I haven't looked lately to see like what those standards are, but I wanna say um, it's still about the same from when I got monetized, which was you had to have a 1,000 subscribers and then you had to have over 4,000 watch hours within a 12 month period. I still think that's the same. There could be other things that have changed, but. I'm not sure. But anyways, I've been monetized since November of 2019. And I was so excited when I got the email. However, I was just, I wasn't posting right away. I've had my YouTube channel since 2017, but I would literally just post when I went on trip. Sometimes I didn't always vlog. I really didn't take it that seriously. And then I got really, really lucky because after posting one of my Roatan vlogs is when that video just kind of took off and it's still creating a lot of views for my channel. And that's the video that helped me get monetized. I was able to reach 1000 subscribers and get over 4,000 views. I was already getting the views. It was, I needed the subscribers and all of a sudden, like I got so many subscribers from that Roatan video. So that's what kicked my channel over the edge. And in November, 2019 is when I became monetized because it's really awesome to be part of the YouTube partners program. But I didn't really start taking anything seriously until probably April of 2020 when I just got really bored because we were in the very beginning stages of the pandemic everything was extremely limited the whole world was like scared to leave their house <laughs> and so i just started vlogging random day in the life videos and then i just kind of started moving outside of that into all my minnesota vlogs because we couldn't travel and all our trips in 2020 were canceled so i was really excited to receive a year in review from youtube this year and i thought it'd be really cool to share with you all what took place on my channel even though i'm a tiny little channel it's still kind of fun to look at these statistics and kind of have a jaw-dropping moment because it's like what i'm just a small little channel but it's just a lot of fun for me and it's kind of my creative outlet doing this youtube channel because because I was a graphic designer and worked in marketing for so many years. Um, I had so much of that creativity taking place. This is just another fun way to do content creation. So with that said, I have my laptop right here. I am gonna show you guys what my year in review looks like for my tiny little channel here on YouTube. Oh, and PS, these are blue light glasses. So I wear these when I sit on the computer a lot and I'm just wearing them now because I'm gonna be on the computer here showing you some stats and whatnot. For any of you who sit on the computer a lot, I highly recommend getting some of these. Um, they have been really, really nice and my eyes don't feel as drained after a long day of sitting on the computer. I'll leave the link in the bio. They're from Amazon. You get a three pack, they were super cheap and they're pretty cute. So let's get started. All right, you guys. So here is the email that I received from YouTube. This is the year in review for my channel. So for 2020, and like I said, I pretty much only did video uploads starting in about April where I tried to really be consistent with my uploads. I know that's very important is being consistent and trying to do an upload at least once a week. But you guys, I uploaded 928 minutes of content. I joined YouTube 2,402 days ago, which like I said, I, I've had a YouTube channel since 2017, but um, it was very sporadic on when I would even upload. And a lot of times I wasn't, you know, it was more for my use as for you know, watching other people on YouTube and whatnot too. So from the very first time I've ever uploaded a video on YouTube, I've had 5,561 people smash the like button. Wow. Thank you guys. For the year, there was 991 comments and 3,681 people shared my videos. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. In 2020, I gained 1,002 subscribers and had 110,409 views on my channel. Wow, 
that's awesome. From last November until December now, which this email came out on December 17th. And so this isn't as accurate as it was because I've gained more subscribers now since the 17th of December as I'm filming this. And by the time you see this, there could be even more subscribers on my channel. So pretty cool. Over a thousand new subscribers within the last year. You guys have spent 516,000 minutes watching my videos in 2020. You guys! And in 2020 alone, I received 2,458 likes on all my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My channel had quite the year and I have all of you to thank for it. Thank you guys so much for your support and watching my videos and engaging with my videos. It all means so much to me. So a few other things I wanna share with you in my YouTube studio account. I'm just looking at current analytics, but by the time you actually see this video, it's probably, it's gonna be slightly higher with like subscriber counts. So as of right now, I have 2,139 subscribers subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so much. And my top five most popular videos for 2020, Utah, Bryce, and Zion vlog. You guys, I don't know what's going on with that video. I literally just uploaded that like a couple weeks ago and has over 27,000 views. Wow. Like what is going on? Somewhere, somewhere along the line. I thought there was a mistake. I thought YouTube messed up this video somehow and it's like got caught in some weird algorithm. But I mean, it just keeps going up and I don't understand <laughs> why it's going so high with views. But thank you all and whatever is happening with that video, I appreciate it. And then followed by us flying to Mexico during COVID. And then of course my Cancun vlog, those are both COVID related, which of course right now is a very popular search term. And then also I had my TSA 311 updated video um, that I did back in May, lots of new things with that. So that's been very popular. And then there's that Roatan video, you guys, that's the video that got me monetized back in November because it had so many views. So this video, has over 109,000 views on it and it just keeps performing for me year after year so that's pretty awesome so thank you guys all so much for your support and watching these videos and for all my Minnesota people because we know I have a lot a lot a lot of Minnesota videos on my channel I want to show you what's performing with Minnesota. All right, you guys, so for Minnesota, I'm not able to like separate like my Minnesota vlogs because I have two different playlists for them and to um, show you kind of what I was showing you how the most popular. So I'm just showing you this screen of all my uploads and then I'm just gonna show you what my top Minnesota vlogs are. My highest performing Minnesota vlog is definitely Tedaguch State Park that has over 3000 views followed by my Bean and Barrett Lake hike. That was an awesome hike we did this summer. That has 1.8 thousand views. And followed by Mount Josephine, one of my most favorite, favorite viewpoints in Minnesota. So if you haven't watched that, definitely go check that out. Awesome hike. I would probably not do that now in winter because it would be really cold, but it could be really cool still. <laughs> but that is just following Bean and Bear with 1.6 thousand views. And then after that, we got, oh, the Lake Superior when we kayaked from Black Sand Beach all the way to Palisade Head. The best kayaking experience we have ever done. And when we bought our kayaks this year, that was one thing I wanted to do. I wanted to get on Lake Superior. And this was like the best paddle. We had the best weather. So that has 1.4 thousand views and... Yeah, the rest, there's a Minnesota road trip one here and Pequot Lakes, that was a fun one. So anyways, you guys, this is pretty, pretty cool to look back at all these numbers because it's pretty amazing what YouTube can do. That was very helpful. Thank you, YouTube, for that recap. And one more thing, I uploaded 76 videos this year. I tried really, really hard to upload at least once a week, um, but of course there were some weeks where if we were on a trip or something, I had multiple vlogs from that week, and so it was two or three videos in that week. Pretty amazing what happened this year on my YouTube channel, and I am such a small YouTuber, and those statistics like shocked the heck out of me when I was reading through all that. So thank you guys so much. And this is the very last video of 2020. And so where is my channel going in 2021? It's a very, very good question. There could be a very big turn on my channel next year, but I, I'm not going to talk much about that yet because there's still a lot of things in the air. But, um, if whatever we're thinking about happens 
um, I will definitely keep you guys in the loop and you'll be seeing a lot of vlogs on that um, but otherwise I mean we're just gonna keep doing our Minnesota adventures at home lifestyle vlogs like we've been doing and I hope you guys follow along on the journey this channel is just a lot of fun for me to explore and be creative and so we're just kind of rolling with it and gonna vlog and create videos as we like but the real question is what do you guys want to see on my channel what kind of content do you enjoy do you like the Minnesota based adventures just general travel which I don't know what we're doing next year it's like the one year where we don't have a whole year planned with travel yet because of so many things still not open and canceled um or do you like more day in the life more at home like what do you guys want to see comment below let me know what you want to see for me that's super helpful and how many of you guys do new year's resolutions i kind of do i kind of don't first of the year gonna get back on track to eating healthy that's pretty much my new year's resolution every year because i pretty much really enjoy the holidays and yeah but i'm going to show you one thing i did implement which i will be using a lot more of i just got it last night my husband just installed it for me and with my job and being on the computer a lot i sit a lot and so one thing i got because my husband got one first because he's had one in the past and i'm like i need one of these this is awesome let me show you i got myself a stand-up station for my desk so now i can stand and work and do exercises and move around a lot more than sitting in my chair so i am loving this so much already and it's so easy to use let me show you really quick so basically this just sits on top of my desk and there is a lever right here and i can push it down which i can't do with one hand And voila, now it's sitting right on my desk. How stinking cool is that? So that is my fancy New Year's resolution, is to stand more while I work. Comment below, what's your New Year's resolution for 2021? And if you're interested in getting one of these, I just got it from Amazon, link is in bio, you can definitely go check it out. Was not super spendy at all. And wishing you guys a amazing 2021. Ready to shut the door here in 2020 and start a new year. And I just pray and hope that things in 2021 are better for all of us because it's been a hard, hard year. So wishing you guys many blessings, good health, and we will see you guys next time in 2021.